Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Jake Ludington here at OSCON, and there's a lot of talk about NoSQL databases all over the place, and yet Vertica, this company that was recently acquired by HP, is not among them. You guys are a relational database, but somewhat different. Can you tell me a little bit about who you guys are and what Vertica is? Sure. So, hi. Um, I'm Ming Shen. I'm a product. Uh, I'm an engineer turned product marketing. I've been with Vertica for a few years and had a chance to touch upon multiple system components. Yes, absolutely. We have a very strong, high performance, high scalable, highly scalable uh, relational database core. But we are much more beyond that, and later we can talk more about that as well. So. Hadoop is obviously um, kind of one of the things that people point to as being the big, huge data, uh, data set solution. And you guys are powering Zynga, uh, or at least I, and I assume that's public knowledge because you have that on your slides. Uh, what are you guys doing that, that makes it possible for Zynga to do what they do? Sure, if you are to use one line to summarize our positioning, we provide real-time analytic insights over big data. By that, we mean terabytes or petabytes of data. You know, in the last couple of days, there were a lot of interesting talks here. We have been exposed to products such as streaming engines that can provide real-time insight as well. But these products are usually main memory constrained, right? So they have uh, a much more restricted scope of the window where they apply to the recent past of the data. On the other side, you have systems like Hadoop and so on that can analyze petabytes of data, but they are batch oriented. So we are in a unique position in the market where we provide real-time insights, where queries return within seconds of time to be interactive with the human analysts. And that analysis is over terabytes or petabytes of raw data. So Zynga would be one of the key use cases there, where they're generating multiple terabytes a day. And also, they are not really loading them in a batch-oriented way, which traditional systems will have to do that because of the limited scalability and so on. They're loading the data continuously into Vertica, and the analysts can look at what's going on with their games in real time. So that's very compelling, that, and that is the analytic backbone behind their business model. And I also, I attended your talk earlier, and you were talking about uh, the ability to get uh, a lot smaller sizes out of the, the compression that, that Vertica is able to do versus Hadoop, which sometimes actually increases the overall size. Yeah, absolutely, right? So the trade-off there is traditional relational databases and Hadoop to some extent focus on uh, you know, not only storing the primary copy of the data, but also constructing additional structures such as indices and materialized views to speed up queries. And it's especially the case for relational databases, less so for Hadoop. Well, these structures are great for speeding up certain queries, but we are trading off between space and time. And that has become the common mindset for the DBAs, where they think, OK, I have to sacrifice some additional storage to get better query performance. What Vertica has been focusing on is how we can carefully lay out the primary copy of the data on the disk really, really well. And by that, we mean how we can segment the data across a cluster of nodes based on the query workload, how we want to sort the data, and for each column, what is the best way to encode and compress it to not only speed up queries, but also to minimize storage footprint. So these are the problems that we solve. And we have very tight control over storage uh, you know, layout. And that is one of the key differentiators from a big data platform such as Hadoop. Now, visually, when you're, you're showing how your stuff works, um, like on a PowerPoint slide, for instance, I don't know if you're using PowerPoint, but I mean, slides. Uh, it appears that you are doing relational database sorts in rows rather than columns. Is that accurate? So the sorting is still based on uh, rows, absolutely, right? Because columns in the relational uh, model do not have ordering. The main difference is since we break the data down by columns, when we sort the data, um, the sorting is often more efficient. We take in the sort keys, make sure the rows are ordered by the sort ordering. And uh, the additional columns that are not part of the sort key will, of course, take the similar row positioning. There is this implicit row position across all the columns that we can use to stitch back the rows together. For people who are using existing relational databases, um, say MySQL, Postgres, or even Oracle, is there a migration path if somebody has reached the point where Vertica would make sense? 
Yeah, that is a great question, right? To start with, a lot of uh, existing users are hitting a performance bottleneck, you know, using existing relational databases, so-called role stores, that are highly optimized for transaction processing. Turns out uh, their architecture is not such a great design for analytic processing. Vertica is purpose-built for analytic uh, big data analytics. For migration, despite of all the key innovations in Vertica, they are all happening behind the scene, transparent to the user. On the interface level, we are compliant with the standards such as the SQL language, ODBC, JDBC uh, driver protocol, so on and so forth. And as a consequence, people can just drop Vertica into their existing BI ecosystem, and we work very well with the existing ETL tools as well as BI tools. So it's fair to say it's fully compatible uh, no matter what database system you're currently using. Absolutely. Of course, there are certain variants for the SQL, right? Uh, everybody implements SQL as well as some other dialects. So in practice, it may take hours or days of work to tweak the system a little bit to, to adapt to Vertica, right? Just to, to set a realistic expectation. But by and large, over the last five years also, we have accrued a lot of expertise in my helping people migrate from Oracle, Postgres, so on and so forth. And I'm confident to say in most of the cases, uh, this is totally within the control and it's a one-time effort well, well worth spent. Without getting into specifics about actual dollars and cents, what's the pricing model for Vertica? Vertica's pricing model is based on the data volume. So that is in stark contrast uh, from existing licensing models where people charge by, let's say, CPU cores and so on. We do not penalize user from using more powerful hardware or more CPU cores. It's really based on how much data the user would like to leverage, manage and store in their system, and extract analytic insights and monetize from that. So it's really about like if I have uh, 10 petabytes, I'm going to pay more than if I have one petabyte, just to really oversimplify. Yes, that is largely true. Of course, we provide enterprise-wide licensing, which is like an all-you-can-eat plan. Of course. Well, thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Locker Gnome coverage of OSCON is brought to you by HP.